Hi, welcome to Van Dien College and welcome to the Level 3 Diploma in Children's Care Learning and Development. My name is Kim and I'm one of the teachers on this course. During this video, I'd like to give you an insight into some of the course details, introduce you to other staff, and also let the students themselves tell you why you should join us. Uh, my name is Helen Streams. I'm the programme leader for early years and care, childcare. Um, to come on the course, you need the normal GCSE requirements for A-levels, including English. There's a lot of written work. Um, however, if you don't get the GCSE requirement for A-levels, there is a level two course to do with childcare which along with other level two subjects would allow you to access the early years level three course the following year. At the start of each year our students attend a first aid course. This is carried out both online and in college and gives our students a recognised paediatric first aid qualification that lasts for three years. It's also really good fun and helps our students get to know each other a bit more. This course in Van Dien College is unique with its blend of academic and practical aspects. In class, you'll study a range of topics from child development, sociological and philosophical perspectives on care and education, arts and crafts, literacy, mathematics, communication and child welfare. The list is endless. Some students may be concerned that only studying one course might be boring. That couldn't be further from the truth. Why don't we have a listen to what our students say? Hi, my name's Amber and I'm a Year 2 student on the Level 3 Childcare course. Hi, my name's Isabel and I'm a Year 2 student. Hi, my name's Izzy and I'm a Year 2 Childcare and Education student. Hi, my name's Enya and I'm a Year 2 student in Childcare and Education. I chose to study at Van Dean because the teachers were really caring when I came for my open evening and gave me all the information I needed. I chose Barnum College because I like the atmosphere and the layout here and the teachers seemed really supportive. We also learn um, how children develop so we know how to talk to them when they're younger and about um, using like a, the right tone of voice so that children understand when they're younger and then when they get older there's a different way of explaining things to them. I feel like the knowledge that we gain at college, like, like you said using all this like, correct terminology, when you go into placement they're talking about things and you can understand what they're talking about because obviously they're using the same methods that we've learned at college and it's easy for you to understand what a child's development is and how you can help them best. And it means you can communicate with the teacher better because they obviously use the correct terminology so you being able to use that as well makes it easier to communicate. We also practice a lot in college as well so doing things like observations we go through them and we do like we give each other ideas and stuff like that so we can all do it right. And I remember yeah. when we first started doing observations we had like short activities and we had to observe each other like yeah. playing with like a children's game so then it gives us an insight of how we can observe children when we're in the placement and how to plan activities. So what placements have you been in? So I started off in my nursery placement and then I moved to a school and in a reception class. Obviously Covid made it a bit difficult but I am back there now so it's really good. Um, I started in the nursery and then I went to the school in reception class and then um, stopped because of Covid and then went back to a different um, reception class. I was then in a private nursery and in a nursery at a school. Because we're in the one yeah, yeah. Class, all our time in like this. we're all together all the time like apart from the placements yeah. well i'm with you all the time yeah. but like we even are like a big family yeah, even at placement you usually have at least one yeah. person mm, you're with. yeah mm -hmm. so you are always together like the group chat like we're always there to support each other yeah, yeah. there's not a day that no one talks on the group chat no yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the time yeah. the ncfe cash technical level three diploma in children's care learning and development is worth three a levels and also has occupational competency, which means that our students can go straight into the workplace if they want to. At the end of two years, our students leave us as mature and capable and confident young people, going out to do a whole range of things. Lessons are varied and assessment is mainly based on coursework. There is an opportunity for students to resubmit their work in order to get higher grades. And also they can submit their work in various forms, such as posters and leaflets, story sacks and slides. Work is graded from D to A star, 
with the higher grades generally achieved by academic essays. Students have two controlled assessments, one in year one and one in year two. These are 5,000 word essays written under controlled conditions. They are not exams as students are allowed to take in notes and books with them. Throughout the course, students will spend three days a week in college and two days a week in placement plus block weeks. Placements will be located near your home and cover a range of ages from naught to five years. You can also have a placement in a special school in year two. Placements provide students with opportunity to gain new knowledge and for those who are hoping to work in either nurseries or teaching, it's invaluable experience. During your two years on this course, we try to organise a number of educational trips as these encourage teamwork and also provide valuable experiences that students can use with children in their care. An example of this is Forest School, where we attended at Plumpton College. We've also taken groups of students to Thorpe Park, Drusilla's and a great trip to Disneyland Paris. During our time in the theme park, students not only were able to experience the rides, but also to attend a workshop where we looked at how the park provide for children with additional needs. So when you finish the early years course, there are a number of options. You could go straight into work because you would be a qualified teaching assistant. So you might become a ordinary teaching assistant in a primary school or a nursery. You may go on to be an uh, individual needs learning assistant for children with additional needs. Alternatively, you'd have the A-levels to go to university and our students tend to do, as you might expect, teaching, but also child nursing tend to head into careers like social work. Increasingly recently, we've had students wishing to go into criminology, sociology, education degree, some kind of education with so psychology. On the whole, our students are people who are interested in working with people and they tend to head in those directions when they're choosing their degree courses. If you can imagine inspiring and caring for the youngest of minds, helping a toddler know that they're valued, and supporting young children discover the joy of learning, then this course could be for you.